guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Fudi Zhang, and today we're gonna take you to a worldwide famous dish. It's gonna be hot pot. Why it's wide famous? Because it's anywhere, but this one we're going is gonna be Sichuan style hot pot, which is nummy, refreshing, and spicy. Oh my god, I can't wait. But this one we're going also combine another traditional Sichuan elements, which is Sichuan opera with face changing, and it's gonna be so good. Let's go. So you know hot pot is different in anywhere. Even Chinese hot pot has different all kinds of hot pot. Like in north of China, they usually eat lamb meat with hot pot. South of China, we usually eat spicy hot pot, especially Sichuan and Chongqing. And also, if you go more south part of China, it's gonna be like Shenzhen, Guangdong. It's called Da Bian Lu. These are all called hot pot, but they're all different style, all different taste. The common thing is. You can order a lot of things in one pot, and you cook in one pot. It's different from Chuan Chuan, the place we went last time. It's like you order the dish, one plate, and it's gonna have a certain amount of the food with a certain price, and in different stores. And also hot pot in Japan, it's called shabu shabu. It's kind of like a magic, and the things are called hot pot, all the same. But it's different taste and different style in anywhere, any country. In Korea, it's a little different. As well, so today we're at a Sichuan hot pot place. Ta -da! We got all our otters. Oh my god, they look so good, and the rock smells amazing. Okay, so the way you eat hot pot is the same thing anywhere. The first thing is all the same, and the first step you're gonna pick your broth, uh, which we get is slightly spicy, and it looks so good with all the peppercorns in it, chili oil. Oh my god. Ginger and you know what? Like in Sichuan, if you're not Sichuanese, you're somewhere else, and you order the divided one, the one with not spicy pot, we're gonna be so disappointed because Sichuanese love spicy. The second step is gonna be make your own plate, which you have an empty plate in front of you. You're gonna add all the ingredients like the onion and the garlic, and also you add a lot of cilantro, which is my favorite in a hot pot as well. You're gonna pour your sesame oil on it just open up and this is your sesame oil. You know, in south of China, people usually use sesame oil, but in north of China, they usually use sesame sauce. It's totally different flavor. So this is the way you eat hot pot. You cook your dishes first and then in the pot and then you deep plate. Uh, I don't really add any salt in it. It's actually a really strong flavor already in the hot pot. So it's become stronger, saltier later. So if you add salt at the very beginning, it's gonna be very salty later. Okay. Is it a little different with Chuan Chuan? Because Chuan Chuan is like the hot, big pot as well. They are all cooked. And then you dip it in a very dry chili powder plate. And this one is sesame oil. So this is kind of different, but they're all Sichuan style. And now we're gonna cook everything. Oh my god, look at this beef. It's so pretty and very thin. Which is, you just need to swish, swish. And it's done, you know, like this. I just love this kind of beef a lot because with the fat part and lean part together, the texture is soft and a little chewy. The soft part is the fat part and the lean part which is the chewy part. So I really like this kind of beef because it's like the really thing with the machine. I'm pretty sure not can crack, but it's just so good. Okay, the next we're gonna try the crab meat stick. People eat hot pot, we usually pour everything down. Like this beef. Oh my god, this is the beef, the big chunk one. And they sliced also and they wrapped it up with a lot of chili powder. It's gonna be so spicy, but I'm gonna dump it. That is my favorite also. It's part of the stomach of cow. And then we're gonna wait for a second because it takes a little while to cook everything. Usually at the hot pot place, they offer you free drink. It's gonna be the tea because uh, it's kind of oily when you finish everything, and the tea is the best. Kind of clean everything out. Thousand layer stomach. 
but it's just because the look, you know, has a lot of layers, but it's just because it's another part of the stomach from cow. And it's very chewy. Oh, the beef. <laughs> Oh my god, a lot of chili pepper on it. It's so hot. It's gonna make me choke. The meat is really tender, but it's like a lot of chili on it. It's really spicy. I'm gonna cry. Look at my sesame oil. It's becoming chili oil. This is intestine of duck, which the way you eat intestine of duck is woo, so slippery. It's very low. And you just put it in a pot and you can't leave it go because it's not the way you cook it. You just leave it for like 20 seconds and then you can eat it. It's gonna be so chunk and crispy. And also it's called Xi Shang Ba Sha, the way you eat it. It's like you know people use it seven times up and eight times that. It's also braised in China. The way you can tell it's fully cooked is because it's becoming so curled. Mm. It's called Sha Hua in Chinese. It's pretty much a shrimp and also made of flour and other ingredients. I'm gonna pour this down. I feel like the oil is coming out of the mouth. So hot. And this is Wang Hong. It's the arterial part of pork. It's gonna be so crunchy after it's fully cooked. And this is their house special with the Kung Fu Panda. With the skewer, this is drink. Mm. It's getting so crowded right now. And later we're gonna have party. The party is gonna start it. Sichuan Opera, which is the spirit of the day. Xiao Hua is ready. You know, because everything is just cooked. So the best way you eat papa is just take whatever you want. Oh my god, Shafa, the meat, it's so tender. Even tenderer than fish meat. It's so good. With the shrimp in it, so it's a little chewy. Oh god. This is string gun, which is the specialty of the restaurant. It tastes like a big chunk of beef. Actually, this is actually jingan. <laughs> the one we just ate is actually. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Never mind. <laughs> and this is Huang Po, it's ready. It's gonna be so crunchy. I can tell. The party is gonna start it. traditional dessert in Chengdu. It's soy, I think. And it's crunchy outside. Inside, I'm pretty sure it's sticky. And then with the brown sugar, it's pretty smooth. And now I'm waiting for my Sichuan opera. Oh my god, it's coming! <laughs> so you know that Sichuan opera face changing is actually a very traditional element of Sichuan opera and Sichuan culture. It's very hard to tell how they change the face, but I heard that it's gonna be like 10 faces and then they change it with the blink of the eye. It's gonna be so fast and the face is under the costume and then they stick 10 more faces together and then they pull it out and the way they stick it has to be great skill because uh, otherwise it's gonna put like, like all the faces together down. Each color of the face represents different style or different emotion of the people. So face changing usually appears in the part that uh, people chill in and drink tea. 
usually kind of part of Chengdu culture, uh, lifestyle also. And you know, grandma and grandparents they usually sitting down in the park and drink tea and watching face changing Sichuan opera. It's becoming one of their lifestyle as always. And also, this is why we come here to have a hot pot with Sichuan opera together. It's it's kind of like you know. The this is only a store they have such an opera face changing with hot pot combined together. It's just feels so great, you know, like watching this kind of such an element and have the, your culture stuff combined with your hot pot. Okay guys, these are all we got for today. Make sure to like and